Hey all, Trevor here with Red Leaf, and today we're going to be diving into the second strain from the folks over at Highly Dutch. We've tried out their Rotterdam in the ounce form. Today I picked up the Amsterdam Sativa in the three and a half. Honestly, I wanted to give this strain a shot and see what kind of experience it has to offer before I go ahead and pick up the 28 gram of this. Now, I'm looking forward to getting into it. I hope you guys are too. Let's start things off with a little Amsterdam Sativa from Highly Dutch. Sit down. Welcome back, you guys. And like I said in the intro, we're diving into the Amsterdam Sativa from the folks over at Highly Dutch. This does fall under the Green Organic Dutchman's LP. So we do get a nice and uh, base start for these uh these products here and i'm i've been really impressed with anything that's come out under that green organic dutchman's umbrella and i'm really looking forward to continually trying anything new that comes out from that lp or even the highly dutch one because i've been quite impressed with this as well now before we get into this full review let's quickly walk you guys through exactly what we're going to be doing and then get things started so first things first we cover the information off the bag because that provides us with the information for the strain that we are smoking specifically the THC content the CBD content the package date everything along those lines that may either allow you to compare the strain that you're smoking alongside me if you have this one handy or compare it to something different if you grabbed it a little bit later or a little bit earlier in the uh, release of this strain you guys secondly we're gonna go over to the highly Dutch website because I prefer to use the licensed producers website we're going to read the little bit of information that they provide off of there. And then we get into our actual review, you guys. We switch over to the herbage scale. We open up our bag. We take a look. We take a smell of the bud. And we score it out of 10. That's the first initial scoring that we're going to be doing. After that, we move on into, there you are, our boundless CFC vaporizer. We have three different temperatures we run through. I go over those three temperatures in detail when we get to that part of the review. The same thing with our bongs. Three different bongs, three different ways of lighting it up, and I go over the details when we get to that side of the review. Now, when we come to the end of the review, the uh, the last couple ways that we smoke and score it, they're going to be along the traditional lines, and that's going to be a pipe and the joint. Typically, these are going to be the most potent and really rich flavors that I'm finding, and definitely the ones that we want to finish off the session with, not necessarily start the session with. Each of these components are going to get scored out of 10 with the high being the final component being scored out of 10. So that means we're looking for a total of 60 points that are potentially able to be earned in this review. You guys, 48 are the amount of points that you need to be considered a beautiful herbage. The way that works is eights across the board on all six categories or whatever numbers add up to that 48 plus. And we've got ourselves a quite a great bud to dive into. But... Now that you know exactly what we're going to be going over, you guys, let's get going over it. Starting off with the information on the bag, we've got the Amsterdam Sativa from the folks at Highly Dutch. We have a THC total of 21.1%, so nice and high. We've got a CBD total of 0.116%, so we have a little bit higher CBD than I've been uh, expecting from a lot of these strains lately because we've been at that 0.01 or even potentially lower than that or ranging right in there. We've got a package date of February 5th, 2021. So it's relatively, relatively fresh and a price point of $27.99. This is a really good price point for this eighth and it's definitely not disappointing if it holds out in comparison to the, um, the Rotterdam Indica that they had because that was very enjoyable to smoke. Now, Let's go on to the information for the Highly Dutch website so we can start smoking this bud right away, you guys. Highly Dutch's Amsterdam Sativa is a rotating selection of organic, high-potency sativa flower, packing sweet floral flavors with punchy aromas to complement any occasion. Organically grown, Highly Dutch selects quality flowers that deliver a consistent potency and unique experience in every batch. I'm really looking forward to seeing the flavors and the overall experience that this bud has to offer you guys. And especially with the fact that the three and a half that I get in here and that ounce could be a little bit of a different flower because they like to rotate them through. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead, 
get our herbage scale intro in here so we can start looking at this bud and start smoking it. We'll see you in a sec. Welcome back, you guys. So let's open up this bag, dump out this Amsterdam Sativa, and see what we have to play with today for overall quality and consistency of this bud. So, initial aroma is really sweet. Very, oh, there, there is something there that I'm recognizing. I can't quite put my finger on that aroma. Like, this is going to sound weird, you guys, but it's got almost like that pungent B.O., like that, that kind of ripeness to it. It's different. It is a very different smelling bud, but still something I'm actually now quite intrigued to try because there's kind of that sweet floral experience on the initial, but there's something about it, just that undertone that has me thinking like it's just that whiff of when you somebody walks by and you just catch that hint of it. It's not necessarily an offensive smell. It's just like, what the fuck was that? That's what I'm getting when I bury my nose in this bag. Really floral, really sweet, really tea experience at the initial. And then you get that hint of BO that's almost kind of skunky-esque. It's unique. It's very, very unique. Now, let's let you guys take a look at the buds before we transition and give this a score. So here we go. We've got the four of the larger nugs and then we've got the rest of three and a half. There's no real shake in here. The buds are a little bit drier than I personally would like. But again, that's sativa versus indica. These buds are very aerated, very open. You guys can see. Like it's it's a standard sativa grow. And that's and knowing that, buds being a little bit drier, it's like the San Fernando Valley OG Kush or the Bull Valley OG from Ogen, you guys. The flowers were just a little bit on the drier side just because of the comp the actual composition of the buds not being these dense little rocks like you get in the indica flower, but more a little bit aerated and open buds like you get with the sativa. All in all, the look is really nice. You got good crystal coating on it, good coloring overall. It's got a nice looking bud to it. Quite impressed. Now, when it comes down to the score, I'm gonna give it a seven. The finish of the bud and the look of it right now on the tray is quite nice. Nothing exciting, nothing really overwhelming. When we come to the aroma, that is definitely the portion that has me much more interested and intrigued to try this bud out. But there's more of just a curiosity and less of that, oh, I can't wait to smoke this. Like with that RC Dream School, when I packed that up, I was excited and looking forward to diving into that strain. Where with this one, I'm not quite sold yet. It'll be interesting to see, and I think once we bust this up and we take a smell as well, I think it'll give us a little bit of a clear idea of where we're going to go for flavor and overall experience. Hmm. That is different. It picked up kind of a citrusy, fruity tone, you guys. But I'm going to quickly roll up the joint, get everything ready to go, and uh, we'll be right back when we're diving in with our CFC Vaporizer. I'll see you in a second. Thanks to the power editing. Hey guys, and welcome back. And thanks to the power editing, we were able to just slide away those couple of minutes while I was rolling up the joint and I fumbled through the initial introduction of this vaporizer. So let's try it with part two and uh, hopefully it'll go a little bit smoother than the original. So three temperatures we're looking to hit. 175, 205, and 220. 175 is going to be our base temperature. That's going to be our starting point. Lemonine and maricinine are the two terpenes we're looking to hit at that starting point. So... Lemonine is going to give us that more, just like the name says, lemon-based flavor. That sharp, citric, acidic experience that the lemonine strain has to offer. That can be transitioned into more of an orange, a grapefruit, any sort of citrus-based flavor that lemonine has potential to play with. Now, maristine is the other terpene we're looking to experience at the 175 range. That's going to give you potentially a mango, that juicy mango flavor. But the fruity isn't guaranteed. That juicy side definitely is because you can get a range from that mango into a very 
vegetative green herbal experience almost a rainforest type of humidity to go alongside with that to as far over as a hopsy peppery kind of experience as well now while this is charging up and get ready to dive into that 175 you guys let's go over the 205 the 205 is going to be where our cream rich potent flavors and aroma start to uh start to show up so anybody that's looking for those chocolatey those creamy berry experiences the cheesy the cushy that earthy tone 205 is the place where you want to go and play because that's really where those rich potent creamy tones like to play 220 we finish off at 220 because of again two points one is going to be the beta carefully terpene that's going to give us a peppery woody experience and is one of the strongest terpenes on the uh well one of the strongest terpenes that we know of right now they're considering it potentially a cannabinoid you guys and i know i've said that a lot but i'm waiting for more information before i can really dive into that type of a video with you the second thing is going to be the highest level of thc being boiled off so it's going to be the strongest overall effect at that 220 with the beta carefully and the highest level of thc i can definitely expect that now with the vaporizer ready at 175 let's haul through these three temperatures see what we got for an experience see what we've got through a fa flavor then we can dive into our bongs you guys because that is definitely my preferred way to smoke cheers and let's get to this nice light flavor overall but it has a kind of tea onset vaping this is actually reminding me a lot of that lemon tie strain like crazy thoughts on that lemon tie strain it's got that citrus hint and that floral tea herbal experience That's crazy. That is 100% what I'm tasting is a lemon Thai strain. What I remember of that strain, that's what I'm tasting at the 175. Lemon and an Earl Grey tea, but sweetened lemon and that Earl Grey tea. Very, very good. 205. I'm curious to see what this has to offer. Ooh. It takes a rich, kind of earthy, woody tone to it. But it still has that initial experience of that kind of herbal, humid tea. Like it's, when that tea, when your tea or your coffee or that hot drink's just the right temperature and you're, you're drinking it, you can almost, the steam you're inhaling off of that is just as flavorful as the tea or the coffee or whatever you're drinking is. And just as enjoyable, that that breath in before you take the sip in, that's what I'm experiencing right here with this. I'm blown away, you guys, with this vaporizer. I'm absolutely blown away. The flavors that are coming through at the 175 was such a nice, light, overall experience. The 205 is like adding... It, <sighs> The 175 is like taking the first couple of sips before the tea has time to steep. The 205 is like adding a biscuit and drinking it after it's had time to steep. I'm loving this flavor, you guys. I am very, very excited to get into and smoking more of this. 220. Let's see what this has to offer. Wow. It took all of that humidity and carried it through each of these steps i am blown away at the quality off of this vape you guys like this is a flower that i, I would throw in here and smoke a full three and a half through this vaporizer now saying that the effects aren't that dominant right now they're not really that potent but it's an organic flower we get about two eight, two bongs through that uh through the two bongs through the bong rips and we'll be feeling it from the vaporizer because i feel the slow gradual onset of a more organic base bud and i always find that organic doesn't slap but it grows and it puts you into where the fuck did this come from type of experience and that's exactly how i'm going to score this vaporizer i'm going to give this vaporizer a nine out of a ten no questions about it hands down the transition of the flavor from one 
one experience to the next was smooth. It was gradual and it was a building block. It wasn't a let's change from this flavor to this flavor. It's let's build on that flavor and increase this flavor. Absolutely jaw dropping. It's a showstopper, you guys, when it comes to the vaporizer. The only, the only thing that I would say I wish there was more of was just a little bit of a cleaner, crisper taste. And I think upgrading my vaporizer could be what what gives me that, like running a PAX base or maybe a volcano or something along those lines where the technology is just a little bit better. That might be all that's going to make the difference here. Or a bud that's just a, ha a, a handful of weeks fresher, where it's just we're getting a little bit more of a terpy boil off experience. And but all in all, very, very enjoyable, you guys. Absolutely jaw dropping. And it's just some real minor tweaks for me to want to give it a 10 because I have to be absolutely blown away. And there's a couple things here that make me think it could improve. All in all, though, very, very impressed. Now, when we go over into our bogs, we're going to follow the same technique that we did with our vaporizer. We're going to go from the lowest temp up to our highest. The way we do that is we start things off with our hemp wick. Secondly, we go to a clipper lighter. This is going to be the more standard way that you guys smoke. Clipper lighter straight to the beaker bong or a bick straight to the beaker. And then, where, oh where did I put the torch lighter? Here it is! Third and final, we uh, light it up with a torch lighter because quickest to cherry. Each of these have a different experience. Each of these have a different overall milking time and uh just flavor so let's see what these amsterdam sativa buds have to say when we light them up and smoke them through the bogs you guys so far i'm impressed let's see if it continues to grow on this cheers let's get to it Hey guys, so I'm gonna end up giving this a seven out of a 10. Now, primarily, this is going to be getting that score because of the smooth, even smoke that comes off of this bar, comes out of all three of the bars. The initial one was definitely the harshest, which it, it typically is. There's very few flowers that I'm finding with that straight pipe and the hemp wick when we're milking it in there that it's the smooth, flavorful experience. It definitely has more of a sharp, crisp, hit you with everything we have type of an experience and then passes very quickly where with the lighter or the jet lighter it seems to be a lot more of a gradual growth nice experience with the flavor and then a gradual passing for most strains or any of the ones that have a really nice flavor to it this one i wouldn't say had anything too exciting i was getting hints and kind of nudges towards either that citrus flavor or that kind of tea herbal experience all in all it was quite enjoyable it was uh it was an all right experience to smoke through the bongs i can feel the high starting to gradually build up i'm starting to feel a little bit of a pressure behind my eyes and in, in around my ears so it's it's coming i just don't know how heavy it's going to hit you guys now we're going to go ahead dive into the regal see what we have to experience here before we smoke the joint we talk about the high we wrap up this video Let's get to it, you guys. We're making good time. And let's continue to do that. A 7 out of a 10. Its overall experience was quite nice. Again, very smooth bud to smoke. Very light overall flavor. But it does take that wood experience from the pipe and just really dive into it. It adds a nice humid and light citrus experience to it. So I'm getting kind of hints of that lemon wood on top of just like a really soft warm wood flavor i don't i don't know if that's the best way to describe it but that's really what it is it's a very welcoming taste a very enjoyable welcoming taste that makes you want to go back and smoke it again now it's not overly powerful it's not overly 
memorable, but it's one that that in the moment it's got your attention. It makes you want to go back there and try it again. Now, we've got our joint here. Really sour, gassy flavor on this first uh, dry haul. <sighs> Just a hint of a citrus flavor. But let's go ahead, light this sucker up, and see what we can do, folks. Hey, guys. So I'm going to end up giving this an 8 out of a 10 for the taste from a joint. Really smooth, really nice overall experience. It does kind of swing from a lemony touch lemony hint into a really nice that warm welcoming woody experience that's sitting there like there's and it, there's just a touch of pepper that sits around the back of your throat it's not affecting the flavor it's just to let you know that there's a little bit of spice going if you don't take another haul like if you let it sit you can feel that spice start to kind of linger onto your tongue but it's not an unenjoyable experience. It's actually quite a nice high, quite a nice smoke, and uh, quite an even flavor presentation through this. I lost a lot of that lemon and citrus flavor once it got to the last third of this joint, but I'm not upset because that warm, welcoming, woody experience is starting to get a little bit of an earthy tone, which I could almost reach and try and think of it as a cush base tone. But for now, you guys, I'm enjoying this, and I uh, I definitely think you guys would enjoy the overall smoke. Now, when it comes to the high, I wouldn't describe this as a straight-up sativa. This one, for me, is a nice, balanced high. It's definitely not so much an uplifted, creative type of a high. Um, uplifted and creative in the sense of, I want to go and work out. I want to get up and doing something. It is much more a... I don't want to say sedative, but easing, easing creative kind of a high where you want to sit down and have a nice conversation. You want to do something like this. I could get into my video games. It's going to be interesting to see how live streaming is going because that's definitely something that you want a little bit more of that uplift, a little bit more. Okay, okay, okay. Because that multitasking, that that speed, that necessity to go back and forth plays a little bit of factor. This, I'm not too sure about. Maybe if I'm not playing Warzone or I'm doing more like a story-based game or something along those lines, maybe. Now, all in all, very nice experience. Very smooth flavor. And I'm I'm quite impressed with how Highly Dutch did with this. We ended up getting a 46 out of 60 for the overall on this bud, which is quite nice. And honestly, you guys, for the price point, the, 40, the 46 is... Is a good score, especially when you're paying under thirty dollars for that eighth. That's really, really nice. And the organic bud being there, that's a good thing to know. That's a, uh, it's a really good thing to be able to sit back and enjoy it. But now, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead, hop on some games with Kelton. I will be back later tomorrow. I got a special one for you. It seems like there's been quite a bit of hate for that unicorn poop, so. I said, fuck it. Let's review it. We're diving into it on Saturday. We're going to see if we smoke it or we shit it on our Saturday review. You guys are getting a third one-hitter weed review. And then next week, we got a lot of fun content coming your way. I'm looking forward to it. But you guys are going to find out about that tomorrow and on Sunday. But let's wrap this one up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget when the end card slides in. Hover over the logo, click that subscribe button, and that bell notification so that you know anytime one of these videos go up and uh, premiere, or I go live with Kelton on Warzone or any of the other games and shenanigans we get involved in. But for the time being, don't forget to click on one of those bottom two videos for you. One's the most recommended for you. The other one's the most recently uploaded. Please click on either of those and anything else I have to offer along that right bar under Red Leaf. That joint's done. This review's done. I hope you enjoyed. Cheers, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.